Hi everyone, uh, welcome back to AfroMD. Uh, it's been quite a while, but I'm happy to be back uh, with a video on my advice for first years coming into medical school. So my first piece of advice is about the curriculum. So a lot of schools recently have gone pass-fail, um, and for medical schools that like follow that curriculum, uh, for incoming medical students, it's really important to you know, embrace that. You know, honestly, even if it's it's not necessarily just pass fail, there's an honors uh, high pass, pass fail situation. It's really important to keep in mind that for your preclinical years before clerkship, um, you really need to, you know, make the most of that time. And part of that is not really stressing out about um, always feeling like you need to get the best grades. And especially if your curriculum is pass fail, it's really important to embrace that. Part of that is just getting used to things and passing. <laughs> um, my second piece of advice is have a life outside of medical school. Uh, your first year is probably gonna be one of the easier years of medical school. So it's really important to have odd hobbies outside of medical school just so you can, um, you know, not feel like your entire life revolves around this one thing. Next, it's really important to make sure that you make the most of your time as a first year medical student because things only get harder from there, so it's really, really important that you make the best of the, that experience. My third piece of advice is that um, it's really important to look for people in your class who share your goals and the same mindset as you do. Um, especially coming into an environment where um, things are probably going to be very competitive. It's really important to be able to, you know, find your group of people um, and basically build off of each other and, you know, if you all have a positive mindset and you're all, you know, kind of about the same thing, it can be easier to navigate um, the landscape because, I mean, you want to make sure that you have a supportive environment to get through that first year. My fourth piece of advice is don't procrastinate, keep up with the material. I know that's often much easier said than done, but um, I think in my experience, I found that being able to keep up with the material helped with not feeling as lost um, with the grind. So if you can, you know, you have lectures that day, try to review them the day of, or if the weekend come, comes around, try to make sure you're caught up on material before the next week starts. But I really think that that has been helpful for me, at least um, going through um, this process. Um, last but not least, look for mentors that inspire you. I think as medical students, it can be easy to just like get stuck on, you know, signal transduction and forget why you're doing all of this, but if you're able to find mentors who inspire you, then you can kind of visualize where you want to be in 10 to 15 years and it can help make it easier to like get through, you know, those hard points. Um, for me, um, in particular, it's been really amazing to find like black um, women physicians who are doing exactly what I want to do and who are, you know, kind of leading the charge and, um, you know, just being amazing. Um, but. Yeah, so that is my advice. Uh, please let me know what you think um, in the comment section and don't forget to like and subscribe. Thank you.